What's up, gang? Carolina Jackpot time checking in. It's Sunday evening, and um, I got to know. Uh, I watched a lot of football yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening. <coughs> <coughs> Lord of mercy. But I must have missed something somewhere along the lines. And y'all help me out because um, I'm stumped here. I am stumped. I'm befuddled, and um, I really don't know what's going on. I have to ask a question. Did the um, Georgia Bulldogs win the national championship last night? I think they did. I think that they did. And I mean, from what I'm seeing <clears throat> all day on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Sports Center, everywhere else, it seems to me like uh, the Georgia Bulldogs actually pulled it off and somehow or another won the national championship last night in September. They won the national championship in September <coughs> against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. What the, I don't know how they done it. I don't. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, somebody fill me in on the details. I'm, I'm in the dark on this. You know what I'm saying? I am, I'm out. I don't know what the details are, but uh, let me know what Georgia did to win the national championship last night. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I swear, you son of a bitches have got to be. The most retarded, delusional, star-spangled fan base I have ever seen in my damn life. You really do. You really are. You people need some help. <laughs> you, really, you really do. What, what, the, what the hell do you think qualifies you to be a damn top ten team? By God, you're up there. What, you rank, what, eighth or ninth this week? Because of the fact that... Uh, you know why? Because everybody else that was up there played like crap yesterday. Penn State, played like crap. Oklahoma State, played like crap. Got beat. Even Clemson, played like crap. Got a win, though. Um, I'll tell you who else played like crap. That's right, my South Carolina Gamecocks. They played like crap, but I'm going to tell you what else. And uh, this is a point that, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize. They don't... Uh, Acknowledge this. My Gamecocks played like garbage. They were behind 13-0 against Louisiana Tech in the fourth quarter. But what did they do? They won the game. Huh. They won the game. Huh? That's, that's all I can tell you. Peep the scoreboard. Peep the scoreboard, bitches. They won the game 17-16. Honestly, they did something that a lot of teams can't do. They did a lot of uh, something a lot of teams can't do. They they practically willed theirself to a victory. They willed theirself to a victory. They snatched victory yesterday from the jaws of defeat. Snatched victory right here's here's defeat right here. It, it's like a big old alligator, and there's defeat right there. It's a it's a, they just they they they, they, they reached a couple times. They reached. It's, 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 <laughs> Got the feet right out of there. Parker White, freshman, missed two field goals. Ah, dang. He looked worse than that daggum NC State kicker against Clemson last year. Ah, the mighty, uh, uh, moody. What is wrong with our kicking game? We go from Elliott Fry, one of the surest things that's ever been in Columbia since damn five points being full of a bunch of drunk weirdos on a Friday night to uh, <laughs> nothing. I mean, it don't make no damn sense to me, really. And quite honestly, why you know why nobody recruits somebody? Why does nobody recruit a decent field goal kicker? Why does nobody recruit? And I had said this in my preseason predictions for the Gamecocks. This was one of the places that we were going to struggle. It was in the punting game this year. Thank God we have not struggled in the punting game. Joseph Charlton has been pretty good. The place kicking, it's just it's abysmal. It's abysmal. It's terrible. I'm gonna tell you years ago. Back in the early 2000s, I lived in a town called Blacksburg, South Carolina, a small town. They had a 1A football team, right? Now, I think they're 2A now, but it's a 1A football team back in. And um, they didn't have a kicker. They didn't have a kicker. Um, 
expect to kick extra points. So when you every time they score a touchdown, they go for two. <laughs> That's what they every time they score a damn touchdown, they go for two. You'd say they won game sixteen to nothing, sixteen to six, or they lose, you know, thirty five to twenty four or something like that, because they did not kick extra points because the, the kids couldn't make them they couldn't make them but they did uh have a, like a lineman or something to kick off from the 40 and he would get the ball <laughs> like to the other team's 40 yard line so he kicked the ball off and got like 20 yards uh, that's about what we got this year that's about what we got we're about to the point where we need to go for two every time we score a touchdown but Luckily, yesterday, Parker White put it through the uprights when it counted. Willed us to a victory. <laughs> Nobody want to make fun of Jake Bentley. They want to give him garbage, give him this, that, and other. Do y'all even take into account the fact that the matter is he was missing two of his best offensive, two offensive linemen, period. He was missing two. Had to shuffle people around. Missing his best skill. You know, Debo Samuel, out. Now, now. Hopefully, he'll be back for the Georgia game. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he'll be back for us to, to face the national champions. Yeah, you know, it's a moot point right now since they've already won the national championship because they, they beat, but ooh, we beat Mississippi State. We beat Mississippi State. Blah, blah, blah. You know, all week long they were talking about how overrated Mississippi State was, and then when they beat them, you know, they started acting like they won a national championship. That made no sense. And Mississippi State ain't no good. They're no good. They beat, like, some FCS team. Yeah, they did beat Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech had a bad game. And, um, yeah, LSU. They they won a home game against LSU. Number one, they got a big advantage in Stark Vegas because all those damn cowbells. And number two, LSU's not even that good. They're not any good. That what, did, what Last night they played Syracuse, and what it was like almost – it was a one-touchdown game. They won, like, eight points against Syracuse. In Baton Rouge, in the real Death Valley, really, Syracuse, give me a damn break. They suck, too. The, that SEC West is full of mediocre teams. They have one good team over there, one. And it's Alabama. And everybody always wants to talk about, well, you Gamecocks ain't nothing but a bunch of Alabama nut riders. Da, 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 da. Well, I mean, all I did was say they were good, which is damn true. But nobody in the SEC West can go, Auburn, they ain't no good. They, they can't score no damn points against a real legit team. I would, how, how in the hell did you score more points against another SEC team, Missouri, than you scored against Mercer? They're not any good. And, and then Georgia won't talk crap to us about having a close game against Louisiana Tech. Uh, how many months ago has it been? It ain't even been, you know, a year ago that you played Nickel State to within a touchdown. huh? You love the Nickel State to within a touchdown. You lost at home last year to Vanderbilt. You lost to Vanderbilt. How many years has it been since you beat Georgia Tech? Have you even beaten them this decade? I don't think so. I don't think you have. I think that's why they fired Mark Rick down at Florida. Y'all ain't beat them and God knows when. Um, I'm going to tell you what. Y'all ain't no good. The fact of the matter is you're high and mighty right now. You're ranked. I'm going to tell you either. You're going to shit the bed against us. You're going to shit the bed against Kentucky, Vanderbilt, or you may even shit the bed this coming Saturday in Knoxville against Tennessee. And I would love that. I would love nothing more than to see Big Orange, take that damn victory. Woo! Go Gamecocks. Go Coach Boom. It feels good to be 3-0. 3-1. See y'all later.